Let's hope they hear this. Chrissy, this is from you. Welcome back. In this video, we're looking at wave characteristics. Again, a lot of this is going to be a recap from last year, but it's really important that we understand it. And in particular, we're going to look at the wave equation. So the science theory is linking the speed, frequency, wavelength of a wave through V equals F lambda and understanding what we mean by monochromatic light. The learning intention is to solve problems using the V equals F lambda wave equation. As electromagnetic waves are waves, they have a wavelength and an amplitude. The wavelength, which is used by the symbol lambda, and we use the unit's meters, is the distance between two adjacent crests or troughs. It can actually be between two any two adjacent points. So even though we say here is a crest, over here is the next crest, we measure the distance, that's the wavelength. We could also go halfway down and measure from halfway down one wave back or one wave forward, we get the wavelength as well. Frequency, we use a cursive F to denote the symbol, and it's the units of hertz, which is cycles per second, is the number of waves that pass a given point in one second. So hertz is cycles per second. Amplitude uses the symbol capital A and the units meters. It is the maximum displacement of the wave from its central or resting position. So if this axis line here, my x-axis, is the resting position, I just simply measure the height to the top, or I could measure the height to the bottom because the wave is symmetrical, and that distance in meters is my amplitude. The speed of a wave is just the symbol V because it's speed. We use the units of meters per second, and this is just the speed that a point in the wave travels through a medium or space. So if it's traveling at the speed of light in a vacuum, the speed equals C, which is the speed of light, which equals three times 10 to the eight meters per second. The period, we use the symbol capital T, and its units are seconds. And this is the inverse of frequency. So period is the time that it takes to complete one oscillation. So we can say that T equals 1 over F. Frequency is how many oscillations per second. Period is how long for one oscillation. So often they are confused between them. They are the inverses of each other. The wave equation, as we saw last lesson, is V equals F lambda, where V is the speed of light in meters per second, F is the frequency, and lambda is the wavelength. Because we're talking about electromagnetic waves, V is always going to be the speed of light, 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Let's have a look at some practice questions to calculate the period, frequency, and speed of waves. As I said before, I'm going to give you a timer. Try to complete it within that time frame. If you need more time, feel free to just pause it and keep going.
All right, let's have a look. So period is one over frequency. So in this case, we had five waves, so we can just rearrange it. We get two seconds per wave. Frequency, one over the period, so 0 0.5 hertz. Technically, we have three sig figs, so 0 0.500. Speed of the wave, use the vehicle's F lambda. We get 0 0.300 meters per second. The period for this question is 0 0.38 seconds. So some other quick wave terminology we talked about, or displacement, which is the position of the particle relative to its mean or equilibrium position. So like that resting point, how much is it displaced, relates to the amplitude. The amplitude is the maximum displacement, frequency period, wavelength and wave velocity we've talked about during the lesson. They're just the quick recaps on the symbols, the SI units and their definitions. So monochromatic light, the word monochromatic comes from two Greek words. It comes from mono, which means single, and chroma, which means color. So literally its transmission means single color. And monochromatic light is just that. It's light of a single color. More specifically, we'll see later on, it is the light of a specific frequency because color is frequency. But that's going to be more important later on. So if you remember from the electromagnetic spectrum that we talked about earlier, it contains all forms of light. White light is actually all of the colors. So when we talk about white light, it is not monochromatic because it contains every color. If we had a unique color, like a red color being produced, if it is just that frequency, that color red, then it would be monochromatic. And we're going to see later on that incandescent light from like an old school light bulb is not monochromatic. And we'll talk about why. But the key definition is that monochromatic light is composed of a single frequency with waves that radiate in all directions away from the source. A laser is a really common example of a monochromatic source as it only contains the color that you see. A laser is formed by a single wavelength, which means that it's monochromatic. We can also create monochromatic light using filters. So if I put a red filter over white light, What's happening is the filter is absorbing every color but allowing red to travel through. So the resulting red light that's being produced is now monochromatic. From here, have a look at the workbook questions that relate to the wave equation. And I'll see you next lesson. Dude, most metal talent!